Hello and welcome back in the open source digital agency series. In this episode, we will install our list monk, which is a self hosted newsletter and a mailing list manager. List monk is really performant and it got a lot of features that can fully replace MailChimp or any other third party newsletter systems. As you can see in their website, uh, you get the general overview uh, what you can do. You can create a different mailing list for uh, different campaigns. You can you will also see analytics for each campaigns, and uh, you also can create uh, powerful templates that can uh, help you sort your campaigns and your repetitive emails that you want to send. So you can add uh, dynamic values like names, uh, city, and those kind of things. The choice is yours. It is fully compatible with uh, HTML, Markdown, or uh, rich text if you want to do it. And for the performance, as you can see, this is a production site for ListMonk with a campaign of uh, 7 plus million emails. And it is only using fraction of CPU and RAM. And this is uh, true because I'm also running my own list monk and the resources they have consumed are really in, in megabytes. It's not very heavy. So I also include link for the list monk website where you can uh, check this website and see it yourself. And also you can access the live demo where you can just log in and you can Test it before you can install it, but I highly recommend using a list monk to save money and to have a full control of your data and to comply with GDPR as we need in the Europe. And lastly, before we continue installation, I prepared the documentation for it because uh, this install is different. And uh, we will not use Portainer, we will need to use uh, command line interface in our terminal. So as you can see, the installation is here. You follow step by step and you will get your own ListMonk installed. So now we will jump into the terminal and install our instance. So once you logged in into your terminal, first thing you need to do is to update your server. So we will just do sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. Press enter, you enter your password for your user and we can continue after everything is installed. Next thing, uh, we need to create our folder for listmonk. So you type mkdir listmonk, double ampersand and cd listmonk. Now we are in the listmonk folder, uh, folder and we're going to create our docker compose file. So we type nano docker compose slash yml, press enter. And now we move back to our documentation and you just copy this uh, compose file and you paste it in the terminal. You press Ctrl O to save, enter to confirm and Ctrl X to exit. And now we will uh, create our config file. So we type nano config dot tomo also we want to copy the configuration file from documentation you click this button to copy and you paste it here so you press Ctrl O to confirm, enter to exit and Ctrl X to exit. So 
now we have two files and the uh, most important thing as we can as i can show you in the doc compose file if you want you need to change the uh, this port on the left side if this port the 9000 is used in our case port 9000 is used because it is running uh, our port in our instance so we can do 9009 and also you want to change the time zone so you just type europe that is lola everything else can be left if you want to leave it like this but i recommend set up some strong password and that's it control to exit okay and also we will need to edit this port in our config.toml file so we're gonna open it again then uh, config.toml and here you also need to change the port we edited before Control x exit and that's it next thing once we have those files we need to set up our database so you copy the next command that you find in the documentation and it is pulling the database service and it will install it just give it a minute or two and our database is created next command we will need to install our listmong application and uh, if you got this uh, connection error refused you will need to edit the config file so let's just do it config and you want to change the host to listmonk db control x to exit and we're gonna run it again and as you can see we got the prompt to the first time installation you press y to continue and our database and the listmong application is installed so now we can proceed with the listmong app to start so we copy this and when we go to docker ps you can see our listmong is activated now we will need to prepare our uh, dns record in the cyber panel so let me move back to the browser and open the cyber panel instance once you're in cyber panel again you go to dns add and delete records you select the select your domain and you want to name it however we want but in this case i just name it the uh, list monk the time to leave 2060 and the IP address you copy the IP address of your port and on server and you click add now we will set up our SSL and our proxy host in uh, Nginx proxy manager so you will need to go to the SSL certificates add new let's encrypt gonna type your domain confirm by enter and you want to agree to the let's encrypt terms give it a second or two and we will have our SSL certificate all right our SSL is up so we go to proxy I'm gonna add our proxy host which is listmonk dot administify.org press enter scheme is http and the local host 9009 and you want to check block common exploits and websockets and 
you need to select the SSL certificate and you want to force SSL and HTTP to support. Now we click save and we can visit our listmonk instance. And now when you visit listmonk or your domain you set up, now you can proceed with login. And by default login username is listmonk and password is listmonk. You click sign in and voila, you are in your listmonk dashboard. But if you want to change the default admin logins, you need to change it. Uh, where is it? Yes, you need to change it into config.toml file. And as you can see, here is the admin username listmonk and admin password listmonk. And you need to change it to your values. And also you can uh, you can check the settings where you can set up your uh, logos and also you can set up your SMTP server that you want to use for this. The choice is yours. I will also include the link in documentation where you can find different configurations and how you can set it up on your own. So I hope you really uh, like this video and if you run into any issues, please uh, let me know them in comment below and I will try to answer all your questions. In the next part, I think we have our own uh, task manager and a project manager system, which is a Vikunja and yeah, it is another great piece of open source software that uh, I'm using and also you will enjoy it to use it also. So stay tuned for the next week episode and take care and bye bye.